A partial government shutdown started on December 22nd, and it's just a few days away from being the longest in history. And during that shutdown, trash has started to pile up. Now, some fear a trash time bomb is ticking on federal parkland along the Chattahoochee River. Well, Fox 5's George Franco joins us from Cochran Shoals in Cobb County. And George, right now, volunteers are taking care of that trash. Russ and Sine, volunteers are picking up the trash here at Cochrane Shoals, but they cannot pick up the fees. You see these two fee containers closed and covered by the plastic bags. They can't do that, and they can't do other duties that park rangers are usually doing. This is a real jewel to be able to come here and just walk and enjoy the quiet of the river and the woods for a few minutes. For tens of thousands, it's a place of peace and serenity. But this federal parkland is under the care or lack thereof right now of the National Park Service. And that's where Bob Ruby and the nonprofit Chattahoochee Parks Conservancy comes in. He's picking up after others at Cochrane Shoals, one of 15 park units along 48 miles of the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area, not being tended to by furloughed National Park Service federal employees. They're not here. They're not, not allowed. I mean, they even if they wanted to come out, they're prohibited from coming out during this situation. Which means no collection of fees, the closure of bathrooms, and lack of trash pickup by park rangers. Oh, somebody clear, cleared this out. One of your volunteers? I would guess. Ruby says since the shutdown began, Conservancy volunteers seen here during other cleanups have been busy picking up where federal employees usually would. I mean, in some cases, we, it's not even the normal volunteers. They're just people seem to be responding to the need. Other federal parks in Georgia apparently aren't doing as well. So I've been to a couple of other parks uh, just this last week and uh, I noticed uh, the gates were closed, the facilities were closed, the water was shut off. At Cochrane Shoals, someone brought in four porta potties, although two were already full. Oh. It won't be Park Service employees who will pump them out. Only essential workers, park rangers, law enforcement are working here without pay until the government shutdown is resolved. If we're not going to pay our federal employees uh, during the furlough, that the uh, president and Congress shouldn't get paid as well. In fact, maybe they should come staff the parks and help us keep them running.